Hello guys, welcome back to my office. I'm glad you're back. So, last video we've talked about octopuses. First off, how to build one in build battle, and then just a quick show off to a giant 80 meter kraken that I'm currently hiding in a chest inside my basement. Hey! <coughs> how you doing? I'm drunk. I knew it, I shouldn't have left the beer here, damn it. At least it didn't touch my bread. Now you're wondering, since when do you have a basement? Um, since today, and while I was building it, this happened. So basically, this sub pig just broke into my habitation freely. I didn't know what to do, so I took on my so sorry, I took on my leash and I gently brought him back to his family. <coughs> Anyways, today we're back here for the hot air balloon theme. After months of inactivity in Bill Bottle, I actually feel proud of what I managed to do in this round. Now remember, if you're not subscribed, just check it out. But for now, let's get right going. But before we enter the actual game clip, I just wanted to show you how these things work. What do you want? Basically, there's this basket, made out of basket, attached to a big bag called an envelope that takes the shape of a balloon when it's up in the sky. Now, the passengers stay in the basket, with the company of an open flame of propane. Why propane? Because it's basket, and the hot air emitted by the burner makes the air much more hot. And doing so, the hot air below goes flying. Nearest hospital. If you want to check more info, such as the safety equipment, in case you're on one of them and you casually fall into the void, I mean, links down below. Here we are in the game, and I recommend that you stay here watching, because just right after, I'll show you what I've done off game. But for now, I'll tell you this. Our objective here is to build a hot air balloon, flying on a plane, with some trees and possibly make it as cool as possible. Also by setting night time and adding some lighting, the build will look cooler. So I start by making a simple platform, using spruce planks and slabs. This is going to be our basket. To be real with you, I didn't really care a lot about the proper burner, since with this much less time, the people will look at more for the shape you give to the balloon. Anyways, after the basket, I'll make the reins for holding it with copper walls, and right after, a good reinforced layer of iron blocks. This is just the first layer before the two that we call the envelope. The first color we have is light blue wool, and it comes in less quantity than the other one. Sir? Yes. Sorry, but she can take more of this one. Alright, better. I will win anyway. I hate my job. The two colors you can choose for the two envelope layers can also be of different blocks. For example, here's the best pairs of wool abidentions. And these are the abidentions you can do with clay as well. Let's go back. The first envelope layer is the internal structure. Afterwards, when you make enough of it, you can continue with the second envelope layer, which right now I'm doing in blue wool. This layer makes you think that it's like laid on the first structural layer um, and, and, and yeah, that's how it's supposed to look like. Once all the balloon shape is done, you can't avoid to add these major details. You're going to make a hole at the center of the circle and put a glowstone and a trapdoor on it. And so on for all the four sides. Next, you're going to prolongate the circle down for about 3 or 4 blocks and then put a fence and a glowstone, surrounded by 4 trapdoors. These were the details to do. Now, at the last seconds, I made a very rudimental burner, but as I told you before, nobody's going to look after it, so I think I made quite a good time arrangement. That was about it for the BBT game, now I'll show you how to build a proper balloon in Minecraft. So I went to my ward and started building from the basket. Since I didn't know the sizes I was going to achieve, I built with a 2 block radius platform that therefore turned into a house. I didn't even build the burner here, since there's not even space for it. The cobblestone rings are attached to the envelopes with our reinforcements, and at last, the big balloon shape came out really good, to be honest. Here's the measures if you wanted to try and recreate this, but I'm sure that there's plenty of block build block tutorials on YouTube. You might watch them. Let's continue with the next balloon here. So I copied from the first one the entire envelope, and I started on a new basket, but turned out again to be a house. And this time, it got even bigger. I mean, what am I thinking? This is a damn shelter, guys. And also, four libraries are gonna be enough? 
What? Well, probably yes, since it's just decoration, but you get my point. Here we have a bed, a furnace, some chests, and all of the other decorative blocks. This staircase leads you to an anvil and a knee chest, and also to this ladder, where we can go up over here and take a look at the view. Wait, what's this? What? Yes, my GPS arrived right, finally, and now I will pretty much record stuff with this thing. Although I still have a big bunch of old clips I still want to share with you, I will do my best to implement shaders in the next videos. Anyways, let's go back. The major changes we have here are the new ropes, with also dark oak fences. These attach to a middle circle of cobblestone and wood, and from here, more ropes unify with the envelope. The burner is fully working. I used a coal block to hold the fire, and honestly guys, this looks way better with shaders. At last, I've put a lot of glistone all around the balloon, in order to shine it up during the night. Anyways guys, that was episode 16 of this Bivato series. If you have any ideas you wanna see, just leave a comment down below, smash like, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.